the concrete has been and will remain as one of the basic building materials for a long time. However, it has one main drawback – low resistance strength which contributes to the appearance of the shrinkage cracks. Usually, in order to eliminate the occurrence of shrinkage cracks, constructors use the dispersed reinforcement of concrete using fibers of different materials. The chopped basalt fiber has a high durability in alkali environment, providing enhanced corrosion resistance in aggressive environments. It improves the tensile strength of concrete in bending and compression. It significantly increases the frost and water resistance and improves the concrete's abradability index. However, the most important thing is that basalt fiber provides excellent anti-cracking effect. One kilogram of basalt fiber consists of 74 millions of monofilaments. Today the chopped basalt fiber under the Technobasalt brand is used in more than 30 countries, including the United States, Canada, Europe, the Middle East, China, India, Turkey and Japan. Using the production capacity of the Kowalska plant, we will show you the process of making basalt fiber reinforced concrete for parking industrial floor. The sifted sand is used for the basalt fiber reinforced concrete. Basalt fiber is added to the concrete mix through the dispenser or manually together with the inert materials like gravel and sand. The amount of fibers is selected empirically in the plant laboratory. The recommended dosage is from 2 to 4 kg for the concrete mix and 0.6 to 1.5 kg for sand cement mixtures. The higher the grade of the concrete mixture, the more basalt fibers needs to be involved into the mix. Basalt fiber length must be greater than the maximum fraction of inert aggregate gravel. Thereafter, it needs to be mixed for 45 to 60 seconds. Then, the remaining ingredients are added to the concrete, cement, chemical additives and water. The mixture is mixed again until it is smooth and homogeneous, and then it is loaded into the truck mixer. During the transportation the mixture must be stirred constantly. After the unloading, the concrete mixture is put into the sleeves directly to the point of its placement. It is distributed over the entire area to the designed level and then aligned with the help of the rulers and throwels. The basalt fiber reinforced concrete has a homogeneous structure. It can be easily aligned and it does not stratify. It is easy to work with such a concrete. It gains initial strength uniformly and quickly. The reinforced concrete polishing process begins upon reaching the required strength. The flooring can be polished with the adding of the topping or other chemical coatings. The surface of such a floor is smooth. It does not need to be coated with a protective layer or topping to hide shrinkage cracks or disguise the cuts of metal and plastic microfiber or shells formed after pulling polypropylene microfiber from the concrete. Basalt reinforced concrete floor has a dense and homogeneous structure. It will last for a long time securely in its original form.